Welcome to Las Vegas Magic Friends. I am your host, E. Ben, and today is going to be exciting. We're going to be going all over this beautiful forest of Las Vegas to see the fruits, the colairs, so many wonderful, intriguing things will be coming your way. Uh, I got some fun stuff for you. Do you want to? Uh, I want to hold my nut. No idea. All right, step right up, sir. Fantastic. I'm going to show you a fun little trick with some rope. It's a little bit too much rope. Let me get my magical, awesome scissors. Take me a nice length. I like that. Right there. Snip. Now that's the first one. Second one. Please watch carefully. This is a very interesting technique that I use for rope repair. Come up and repair it like this. There we go. All right, so now this is the fun part. Watch. Take and put the knot right here. Now this is a really pretty knot. I worked really hard to make this look as gorgeous as possible. Yeah. Come on. Oh, we're not done yet. This is this is the beginning. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that knot right there. Isn't that isn't that gorgeous? Now we're gonna clean it up a little bit. Even go ahead and hold these between your two hands, sir. Thank you. Get my handy dandy slicers out here. Watch. Okay. Whoa. Well, easy. Easy. Oh, 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 oh. Even. Calm down. You know I'm not gonna hurt you. All right, now, uh, anybody have if hand you know, sanitizer? Two inches shorter, you, you know what? Uh, all right, unsanitary. Now, watch this. Oh, oh, that's nice. Very good. Let me see. Go ahead and look up. Take the rope. Now, watch. Here, hang on to that one for me. Perfect. Oh, shit. All right, hang on. That's one more, okay? You ready? You right or left-handed? Uh, both. Yeah. Both. All right, so we're going to take and we're going to place this in this hand very, very tightly. Now, I have my handy-dandy portable magic wand, the compliments of O'Reilly Auto Parts. We're going to give it a quick little wave and slowly open your hand, sir. What the hell? Fantastic. <laughs> I like, I like that last little bit there. That's Thank good. you. I've never seen it. Very nice. It's beautiful. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome, sir. Enjoy your knot. Thank you. Be cool if I stole it away. All right, we're at the club with Al. All right. Even. I'm going to start to deal down. I got some bills here. All right. But I'm going to start to deal down some cards whenever you feel like saying stop, stop the deal. Stop. Right now. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. I got the, some money. Right where you stop, we're going to place a bill. And then, what you're going to do is you're going to put the rest of the deck on top of that. So, I want you to pre do that exact procedure here. Okay. All right. So, start dealing down. Off the top. And whenever you feel like stopping, I want you to pick up one of those bills. Put a five dollar bill right there and just throw the whole mess right on top. Uh, so here, your turn. Your turn. Once you do the exact same procedure, start dealing them down one at a time. Whenever you want to feel like stopping, you stop the deal. Put a five dollar bill there, throw the deck on top. I tell you what, do it one more time. Okay. Do it one more time. Go as many or few as you want, whenever you want to stop, stop it. Five dollar bill there. Throw the deck on top. So, what you guys have just done is you have just placed five dollar bills in four random spots in this deck. But what's so interesting is that money right there with a car on top of each one of those bills. That money always seems to find the money car. <laughs> Show you a little magic here with the Queen of Hearts. You can see it there? Got it? Just a toss. It's now the Ace of Spades. Just a toss. Now it's the Ace of Hearts. 
All right, we're back with the magic mechanic. All right, guys, let me show you something with some nuts and a cup. We have one cup and one nut. Now watch. We're gonna take this bad boy. We're gonna go like this. Take our one. Bah! You believe something happened? There? I didn't see nothing. I didn't see shit. Well, hot damn, that's some amazing stuff. Let's see. Whew. That's a rough one right there. Dude. The magic mechanic is going to show you a flourish. Ooh, this is called the Vernon Wand Spin with a Thumb Spin. And then we have the Finger Walker. Oh, wait. Let's do one more time. That one just has to, this one I'm learning just has to get into the flow. That's gorgeous, Jack. Jesus Christ. That is absolutely gorgeous. There we go. <laughs> Boom. That's gorgeous, Jeff. Thank you. I've been playing with my flourishes. I love that. Well, you'd be proud to know what's going on. We're here with Dave. Now, Dave is uh, special. He, uh... <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, he really is a big part of the community, and and uh, it's just such a beautiful thing to have Dave come to the club tonight. So, Dave, you said you was going to squawk about something. I was going to tell it. You wanted to tell a joke. Yes, I'd love to hear one. So, I, I saw this woman at the bar the other day, and she had a shirt on that says, Genius. And I walked up to her, and I said, You think you're that smart? And she looks at me, and she looks at the shirt, and she looks at me, and she looks at the shirt, and she says, It's pronounced Guinness. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. I wrote that joke. Don't steal it. <laughs> Dave, you know what Gary Darwin used to say? <laughs> like he would say, when someone steals your joke and it shows up on TV, a real pro, yeah. that's when you're a real fucking writer. Well, there you go. So when that joke So if you're going to steal it, you better be good to be, in, be yeah. on TV. And then, that, then yeah. that means you're a good fucking writer, yeah. Dave. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so. We're Why here at no. the Gary Darwin <laughs> Magic Club. This club meets up every Wednesday, 8 p.m. to midnight. It's so loads of fun. That's the one thing we can promise is loads and loads and loads of fun. And instead of talking about it, let's have some fun. So we're here with our good man. What is your name again? I forgot. Hold on. Hold on. People, hold on for more action. <laughs> here we go. Let's do it. Okay, so you know what a word association is. Yes. So if I, it's like, I, I throw out words and you throw it for you, you announce the first word that comes to your mind, right? So if I say apple, you'll say... Orange. And if I say cloud, you'd say... Uh, green. And if I say sun, you'd say... Moon. And if I say night, you'd say... Dark. Right, but, and so here's the interesting thing. I gave you a suggestion there. Right. So I... Because son is a homophone, so you could have used son and you could have said daughter or father or mother, because son is your child. And when I said knight, you could have said like king or queen or something, so that regard is a reference to the Renaissance. But instead, you went with knight because I gave you the suggestion of moon and then you went with rain or cloud and you went with rain. My apologies. And we're going to try something a little similar to that, all right? I'm going to announce a couple words and I just want you to focus on one to keep one in your mind as you go, okay? Are you ready? Okay. So poker, purple, pizza, time, scissors, giraffe, coffee, and apology. Do you have one of those? Do you have one stuck in your mind? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do another word association here. I'm going to throw out a couple words and just tell me if one of them is associated to your word, okay? Okay. okay. Espresso, cut. Cheese or game? Is any of those words associated to yours? Uh, no. No? Okay. Second, we're going to go with drink, dough, like donut. Um, tall or color? Okay. Are any of those associated with yours? Tall it is. Okay. Um, so, just yes or no. Um, tell me if one of these words is associated with yours. So, um, caffeine. Sharp, clock, or neck. Is any of those? Yes. 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 Okay. So I just want you to think of your word in your mind. Just thinking off of all those just random words thrown out there. I want to 
because I have special. I want you to think of the word in your mind and just keep saying it okay. over in your mind. Just start just it out there. And Thank you, sir. Say it like you're just going giraffe, 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 giraffe. You always right. seem to get you're money out of it. word? Oh, ended up being the word giraffe? That is it. All right. So, That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I, as I was saying before, I mean, I learned the mechanic. I'm now trying to work on the presentation aspect okay. of it. So, but that's, so that's the mechanic aspect of it. With this, that's what I, could, with the I have a question. If you could share your fruits, which fruit would you share? If I could share my flute, which your you fruits, wish? your fruits. My fruits. What fruit would you share? What fruit would I share? If you could share anything. I don't know that I would do that to anybody else. <laughs> That's a very good response. That's hilarious. That's a very good response. That's a good one. We're here in the store. We see some friends from out of town from Brazil, and they're all the way here. Let's see a little something. I'll show you something using the two red aces, the classic of magic, the sandwich trick. So uh -huh. we use a card as well. Let's say it's the six of spades left somewhere around the deck, and you can see the six and the two aces. If I give the deck a little shake like this, the first ace vanishes and the second one goes as well. Now just a flip of the deck and they both reappear in the middle with one card between them and that should be your six of spades. That is gorgeous. Thank Absolutely you. gorgeous. What's your name? Antonio. And your Instagram? Antonio underline Bouchra. All it's right. complicated to spell. And you? I'm Bernardo Sidlasek. And he knows <laughs> Alan, right? Yes, I do know. Yeah, Alan is a great friend. How did you learn about Alan Ackerman? Oh, I met him at the convention a few years ago in Mexico. Awesome. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys. We're all connected. It's amazing. It's like they call it globalization. Yes. We're this all room, room. we're all this close now. All right. We'll see you guys. See you. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Go right on ahead and tap the subscribe button right here. See this little notification bell? You'll tap that and then you're gonna hit all notifications. So you're gonna tap this and you're gonna see none personalized all. You wanna tap all and that way you'll get a notification every time I publish a new video. And remember, with the end of month giveaway, leave a comment down below. We randomly select people. We give all kinds of magic props away every last Saturday of the month. So definitely uh, look forward to that. So definitely leave that comment. I hope you love the video and I hope you love all these beautiful colors. Well, if you're new to the channel, click on the subscribe icon right here. Check out more ostentatious, bodacious videos here. And we will see you back next time right here on Las Vegas Magic Friends.